Yo, this is a review of the Fantec Helios 2 Pro S. It's the smaller version of the Helios 2 and a clone of my favorite Xiaomi mouse, the S2. With an OP shape and updated specs, this can be considered as a top tier peripheral for performance. However, there are some areas of the mouse that are only decent, not quite at the level of the top gaming mice, and some areas that are average. So I'll be talking about my experiences using the Helios 2 Pro S. I'll be short forming it to the Helios 2 S just to save some time. One thing to point out real quick is that the mouse was sent out by Fantech but if the mouse is bad, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and they probably don't expect me to just suck them off, so here we go. I'll be going through the mouse and talking about what I like and what I don't like about each feature. The shape. Like I said earlier, this is my preferred shape out of the Zowie lineup. It's not my most favorite of all the mouse shapes out there, but from Zowie, I would pick this and the ZA over everything else. In my opinion, the S shape is super comfortable for both aggressive and relaxed claw. The hump placement is nice where it covers a large part of the base of your palm. Height is also at a good spot where it doesn't feel bulky and allowing finger motions to be made quite easily. The width also factors in making it feel less bulky, but it does present the same problem that the Zowie U2 had, that being the edge of the hump digging into the meaty part of your palm. Aggressive claw users should be okay, it's mainly the relaxed claws that have the higher chance of experiencing this. It is at a lesser degree compared to the U2 since the edge is flatter and sits flush against your palm rather than a bump, but this should still be noted for people who have smaller hands and relax claw. Sides of the mouse taper in a little bit but overall is quite flat. I like the flatter sides for finger placements and because the mouse is so small you can fingertip it no problem so the flat sides help out a lot. At the top of the mouse, there's subtle grooves on the mouse buttons but they do not have any big curves so clicking anywhere on the buttons were great. Since we're talking about clicking, the Helios 2S uses the Huano transparent blue shell pink dots which are my favorite mechanical switches along with the TTC golds. I think if you have a good implementation with either of the two switches, you're going to have a good time and this is the case with the mouse. The clicks are very tactile, they're not super light like some feather clicks but still light enough with no problems and the click feeling is absolutely amazing. For a flagship mouse though, some might expect optical implementations instead of mechanical and that's a fair assumption right? Because this mouse is made for performance so it does make some sense but for me personally, I don't particularly mind as long as it's implemented well and plus a lot of optical switches just don't feel great in comparison to good mechanical switches like the Rayshar ones on the Pulsar X2 V2s. The switches are quite consistent though it gets much stiffer near the very top. They do give a hollow sound instead of a solid click which can make it seem less premium but the implementation here is great. In terms of travel, there's some amount of pre-travel and very little post-travel. Spamming is still very good but I would have preferred a little bit more post as it adds that bounciness to the switch making the switches feel even lighter. Side buttons are good, they're in an easily accessible place, pretty large and feel great but it has that same post travel issue and along with the side buttons being slightly heavier, these can feel quite stiff if you need to spam them. Scroll wheel is awesome. Steps are defined with a lot of tactility and audible cues. They're just right, not being too loose or tight to scroll through and clicking down on them requires no effort at all. This is definitely one of the much better scroll wheels out there, but unfortunately it's not a feature that's super important. Nonetheless, it's good to have. Next, the coding. Fantech calls the coding on the Helios 2S an ultra grippy coding. Is it good? Yeah. I've had no issues with the mouse slipping around. It has a rubberized finish and it works better when you have some moisture on your hand. So the longer your gaming session is, when your hand starts sweating, the coding performs better. But Endgame gear and Zawi mice are still noticeably grippier than the Helios 2S. Regardless if my hands are sweating or not, the ones on the OP1 or the U2 simply glue to my fingertips and don't budge at all. This is pretty good though. I'm going to talk about the AK implementation before the skates this time. The wireless implementation is almost flawless. I've had no issues with 2K and 4K at all, but I had some stutterings on 1K which is a little strange but that got fixed after I reinstalled the software. So, the mouse has 8K pulling rate, but you have to use the wired connection, otherwise you'll be able to go wireless on 4K instead. Now, the switch between 4K and 8K is very small, even if you isolate it and pixel peep, you most likely won't feel a big difference. That being said, there are already plenty of mice that are running 8K on wireless, like the Beast X that came out at the start of the year, and also the ATK F1 series, so having to restrict the 8K to a wired connection kind of feels bad. 
The cable included is just above average. It's not as flexible and doesn't have a stress relief, but the cable fortunately doesn't drag around too much that it will obstruct your gaming session. The skates are a highlight of the mouse because they're balanced in terms of speed, but they're also very smooth. Fantech includes a set of large surface area skates, which is the same as what was pre-installed on the mouse to begin with, and a pair of dot skates. I think more companies should do this, but yeah, the skates are good and they're high quality as well. I don't see a need to change them. Okay, so that sort of wraps up the Fantech Helios 2 Pro S. For people who want a free mouse, Fantech has allowed me to do a giveaway for two of their mice, the Aria and the Helios X-T3. The X-T3 is more of a budget mouse, but obviously my favorite out of the two has to be the Aria. It has the 3395 with the updated Juana transparent blue shell pink dots instead of the KLGM 8.0s, and I have it right here. The clicks feel amazing and it is the Razer Orochi V2 clone, which some people consider to be the best fingertip mouse shape. I think it's a great shape, but not the best in my opinion. Still, the Aria has really good specs and I'm not too sure when they'll announce it, but basically you're gonna have to chuck a follow on their Instagram and maybe comment on one of their threads. Depends on what they say in the upcoming post about this. I mean, hey, it is kinda scuffed, but at least it's a free mouse. So yeah, that's it. See you later.